and good day. I'd like to welcome you to our presentation on using Verisurf to make CMIM programming a breeze. My name is Nick Merrill and I'll be your presenter today. We'll be going over quick setups, fast alignments, automating inspection planning, simulation and measurements, and last but certainly not least, simplifying inspection reporting. Let's get started with quick setups. You'll likely notice the environment is quite familiar, and that is because Verisurf uses Mastercam design as the core of our software products. Verisurf supports all industrial standard file formats and the optional CATIA, CREO, and NX part and assembly files. CMM programming in Verisurf can be performed with or without a CAD model, but in today's presentation, we'll be demonstrating the workflow using a STEP CAD model. Once the CAD model has been imported, we'll quickly set up a work coordinate system, also known as a WCS, using the dynamic WCS function. The WCS placement can be modified by entering a known value snapping to solid edges and wireframe entities, or interactively by clicking and dragging. This WCS represents how the part will set up on the CMM and helps with automating inspection planning, simulation, and collision detection. We'll go ahead and get the part set up on the CMM and then prepare a manual alignment to teach the CMM where the part is in its volume. The alignment strategy that we're using is what we call an auto align. This will guide the user and then intelligently calculate the measurements we've performed to match with the nominal model. Once the alignment is complete, it automatically accepts the results when they are within the set tolerance threshold and starts the build and inspect mode. Build and inspect mode is a fantastic tool for performing rapid in-process inspections to get results quickly and keep production moving. Now that we've seen what it takes to set up, align, and verify tolerance conditions for an in-process inspection workflow, we'll now segue into automating inspection planning, simulation and measurements, and simplifying inspection reporting. An inspection plan is a list of measurement objects and constructs used to evaluate the condition of a part. The first object that we'll add to the inspection plan is the tool we'll be using to evaluate the part and then follow up with a single point manual alignment. A 
A single point manual alignment uses a single measurement to provide a rough starting position for an automated alignment that will follow up on that and lock all six degrees of freedom. Before we add the automated alignment, we'll need to change the measurement mode from manual to automated so the following objects inherit that desired measurement mode. Also, automated mode enables automatic path generation on features to further streamline the inspection planning workflow. As the inspection plan is built, you'll notice the Auto Inspect Manager on the right side of the screen starts to populate with the objects created in Automate. The difference between these two is Auto Inspect is simply a playlist, and Automate is where you actually create the inspection plan. We'll go ahead and run what we've created so far. Similar to the behavior of the manual auto align performed earlier, the user will be guided on the first point. The difference now is the CMM will run the following measurements in automated mode. Once the alignment is complete, it automatically accepts the results as they are within inside the set tolerance threshold. Now, let's continue to build the inspection plan and then run a simulation to verify our pathing is collision free. We're going to go after a few of the cylinders for diameter and position and we'll also capture a screenshot to help communicate the inspection results. Let's go ahead and move this probe out of the way. Now let's have a look at the pathing and make sure that we don't see any collisions before we run the program. Next, we'll go after a surface profile that we'll also use to construct a plane object and calculate flatness. We'll select the parent surface first and then select the chain that will be used to drive the probe path. To modify the approach and retract direction used to orient the probe, we'll double click on the path. and select the edit button for custom clearance and then click and drag in the translucent purple sphere to adjust the tilt and rotate orientation.
Specific values can also be entered into the tilt and rotate, and users can scroll in each field to adjust by the increment that's shown. Further constructions can be performed to evaluate distances, angles, as well as all GD&T requirements. Although we step through this inspection plan, it can also be ran all at once and on multiple metrology devices with little to no editing. After running an inspection plan, the effort to create a report is nothing more than a button click. Now that we're in the report manager, we can make edits as necessary and add additional screenshots and they'll be saved to the inspection plan for the next run. Verisurf has several pre-configured report templates with lots of flexibility and ease of editing. Our most popular are the easy-to-read HTML and PDF reports, followed by Excel, and then database reporting to communicate with third-party solutions for uh, SPC. Here's a couple examples of the uh, HTML report. So this is what we call the contrast report here. basic HTML. Very clean, very easy to read. Pictures worth a thousand words. I hope you all found the demonstration today is informative. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out. Verisurf and the MLC CAD family are here for you.